Yes, I'm using them to, to resurrect the dragon to get more draconium so I can make you armor that's actually worth something because your armor is a piece of shit. Um, and be able to get the items. What do you mean, my armor is a piece of shit. I get killed less than you do. I get killed every episode, damn it. But it takes two well, hits for me to kill you. Legal defense. Cause I only get killed. I, I, it takes me two hits to kill you. Yes, because you are using an overpowered weapon. I know. If you had this armor, it wouldn't. It would take more than two hits. That's the argument of, a, of, a, of an idiot. How? That means your armor has less armor rating. No, you idiot! It means your sword is stupidly powerful. So having an so switching armor that would make it to where you would die less by my sword, like it my sword would do less damage compared to wearing armor that you would die in two hits from my sword. It means that my sword is just overpowered and that your armor is just not comparison to what I'm currently wearing. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good argument. You make no fucking sense. No, it makes plenty of sense, Charlie. Draconic Evolution is an overpowered damn mod in respect to its tools and weapons. It's also an in-game mod, though. It, yeah, it takes exactly. a lot it's of time an and work. game mod. Yeah. Personally, I am in disagreement with it. So, blur. Know what I'm gonna do? You, you ain't doing shit, bitch. You ain't doing shit. That's what you're gonna do. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm sure you just saw that world backup go on. Though it was actually an automatic one, luckily enough. Where you at, Alex? Just where you at? You know perfectly fucking well where I am, bitch. Where? Oh, you are over here. Of course, motherfucker. I told you I was regrowing the trees. I needed to widen the area that my all. Oh, damn it! I need to cover this back. What the hell, motherfucker. The fuck did you just do? Nothing. Charlie, the fuck did you just do? You don't worry about that. No, the fuck did you just do? You break one goddamn thing over here and it will be a big problem. That was funny. <laughs> Tell me you saw that. Samuel L. Jackson, leave me be of your horseshit, Chris No, Alex, you did see that, right? Yeah, I saw the damn zombie go flying and then fall right back in the water. Well, he, he bounced off of the torches like twice, but the key couldn't kill him in one hit. Oh, there's a there's a angry node here now. This node has been warped. Yes, it has. That's good. I have a special it. tool to distract the zombies very soon. Which will be what? It's called the Alluring Skull. There you go. Okay, I'm done with it. I'm done. I got to hit you with it. You know, we, we still aren't even fucking sure if that key isn't causing some of the problems. So... Just... Right, that's why I stopped using it. That's why I haven't been using it the whole time. I'm pretty sure it, it's not, but I'm not always tr right. Like, things change, okay? Charlie, Charlie fucking round over here. He, he gonna get us all killed. I am gonna get us all killed. That's why I pumped a whole bunch of warp into the air. Now, you pumped a whole bunch of fucking warp into the air and you said that, that would exacerbate the tank issue. You, you didn't think that would happen, did you? I did not understand half of that. What do you mean by exacerbate the tank issue? exacerbate the taint issue, as in it will make it worse? You didn't think that the taint would get worse by pumping a whole bunch of warp into the atmosphere? You didn't think that was going to happen? No, I figured it was. I'm going to end you. My goal is to contain and collect. Contain, secure, protect, SCP. It's a great motto to go by. Yeah, if you're... Do oh, God damn it! It's gotten so bad, it's actually started to taint the soil. 
It started tainting the soil, Charlie. It's only a matter of time now. It's been tainting the soil. That's why I put those silverwood trees there. They should help. No, no, I mean, it is literally a tainted soil block now. Yeah. Not that book. It's the wrong book. Next thing you know, we're going to have tainted cacti. What are we eating? It's only four! Yeah, and I'm starting to get hungry. You just ate! Like two hours ago! What are you talking about? <laughs> Cassie, I think he's losing it. You may want to call the podiatrist. <laughs> I'm trying to find silverwood saplings in the book. Actually, why don't you pass me one of them silverwood saplings over here? I'm sure it'll help me. Um. Well, all I could say is might want to go find it. Why? Uh, look at the recipe for a silverwood sapling, because I used all of them. Well, then never mind. Make another one, if you can. Uh, we should be able to. They're valued for their purifying properties. Ore nodes often form within these within their hearts. This feature alone makes a silverwood tree sapling prize beyond measure. So nothing about taint in it. Damn it. So my um my silverwood sapling trees may be doing absolutely nothing. You could just go and grab one of them if you want to. Yeah, the only way to actually you know Wait, 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 wait. It, it did, it did uh, create a mystical forest biome which did push the taint back. Well, yeah, they always make a mystical forest biome. Exactly. A mystical forest biome don't get tainted. But that only happens if it's a pure node. Well, that's only, it just has to have a node in it. All nodes in silver trees are going to be pure. Not according to some of the nodes are not going to be pure, but the majority of them. They're actually they've actually all started growing pretty fast now. But only one of them has started the uh, mystical biome. I always like the magic magic biomes. I believe are they achievement, huh? I believe the magic biomes can't get tainted. Yeah, I wouldn't be so sure. Okay, now what was I getting out of here? Some, oh god. I needed birch saplings. I found the pigeon. You found a fucking pigeon. And I killed it, yes. Why did you kill the fucking pigeon? Because no one likes pigeons. Not true. Dodos are actually closest, uh, closest extinct relatives to pigeons. So, in other words, you just killed the dodo bird's cousin. Good. I don't fucking like them anyway. Uh, said that. I hope you they're do. gonna come into your room one night and they shove eggs up your ass until you're crapping baby dodos. Oh, you've lost your mind, Alex. It, what are you talking about? You have absolutely lost your mind. No, I have not, motherfucker. We both know those dodos have an evil plan for you, Charlie. I should know I made them specifically for evil purposes. Oh, right. I didn't fucking tell you I made them for evil purposes. Ne never mind. Forget you heard that. And 
and this this is the moment that Charlie's trying to figure out, wait a minute, what kind of evil purpose could Alex possibly have for Dodos? Not at all. Well, then that just proves Charlie's really stupid. No. Just don't care. Fool does not care. I've got to make a shit ton of these heavy. How um, does the crusher use heavy engineering blocks? Um, let me think. Possibly. Let's see what that would be. Not in there, clearly. Um, heavy machinery, the crusher, it uses light engineering blocks. Damn. I was going to dismantle the crusher for it. Th no, it's too bad that we can't use what? the lightning rod. A what? The lightning rod. I thought we could. Oh my god, fucking pigeons. We can, but you know what know what our issue will be? What? Lightning don't strike in the savannah very often. Uh, of course not. Hey look, it's a pigeon. It's 84 more steel to go. This infernal furnace is slow as hell. Maybe it's because steel is an intensive process that can't be, you know, chalked up to just a single but fuck slow thing. You know, do you actually know the process of making steel, Charlie? Uh, yeah, it's um something to do with like remelting iron. No, no, no. Actually, the process of steel requires a mixture of um, a carbon-based compound with a um, metal crystalline structure such as iron. You see, you melt the steel down and you mix it with a type of ash called coke. Coal coke, actually. You know, like from the coke oven. Yeah. At an extremely high temperature. Well, when you reach this high temperature, the entire molecular structure of iron sort of expands out allowing these molecules of carbon to come floating into the structure and moving around freely. Well, it, it's quickly cooling this down that shrinks the structure and it traps carbon within that molecular structure, basically strengthening. Now, if you got a 100% um, saturation of every area inside the crystalline structure, your steel would be so brittle that it'd shatter like glass. It'd take years of continuous forging to do that. But, if you did it for a short amount of time, the steel would be too weak and wouldn't have the same strength. It's really a matter of knowing when to stop. And that's where forging comes in. It's when you get that metal red hot with a bunch of burning carbons and everything that uh, it really is useful. But yeah, steel actually takes a long time to make. That, that's why that blast furnace is, you know, slow. You know, you